What up, Internet? Kurt here, and today I'm geeking out on Louie. Look, I know last week I was hating. I had a lot of complaining to do about Louie. Me, Louie was perfect. Me. But I'm happy to report that this week we are right back to where we belong, and that is me just loving every minute of this show. Oh, it was so great. All right, so this episode, Louis out to get a girlfriend. He's talking to his kids, and I do agree with him on the tyranny versus tyranny. That's why I say ty tyranny, because it's tyrant. So then he goes to the comedy cellar, and he sees Maria Bamford there, just killing. Do you listen to love songs on the coast with Delilah? Where are you calling from tonight? I love it when anybody else knows who Delilah is, because the subway I worked at in Chicago would play her all the time, and her impression is spot on. What's going on with you tonight, Amy? Oh, Delilah. There's a lot of John Legend being played. Some Celine. <laughs> Real sappy stuff, but I was into it. Anyway, love Delilah. Love Maria Bamford. She crushed it. Then they do it, and it's super awkward. Can we have sex again in a few minutes? <laughs> so pathetic. The way she gets out of bed. You're bad at sex. Oh, okay. Bad You're bad at it. This episode really takes off when Louis takes his kids to school. And first we see his kid's teacher. And he's like, okay, here it is. And he like falls in love instantly. We hear the song. <laughs> and then reject it. Hi. And I just love how he goes to every door and thinks that that's the one. So then he goes to this bookstore, and right when I'm sitting here going, I wonder if this bookstore is the same one from You've Got Mail. Just as I'm thinking that, I realize that this woman is Parker Posey, who is in You've Got Mail. What? I don't think she was ever in the bookstore, though. Yeah. I like that movie. Ugh. So now he sets his sights on Parker Posey. Hey, uh, can I... Can I help you? Yeah, thank you. He finds this way to connect, which is like getting her to recommend books for his daughter. I love the kids' books. You do? Yeah. Come on. And so every week he's got this new thing. She's really into kind of heavy novels right now. He finally gets with the nerve and asks her out. You just come out with me for a drink, and even if you got up and left in the middle of the one drink, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold it against you. Of course, it's very reminiscent of his Pamela speech. I'm in love with you. Which you know I love. Oh, God. But here's the big difference, is that Parker Posey goes for it. Of course I'll have a drink with you. Why not? <laughs> yes! Yes! That was so... So... Ugh. A little tripod trouble there, but all good. All right. Um, where was I? Parker Posey goes for it. Of course I'll have a drink with you. He gives a speech. It's just like the one to Pamela. I'm in love with you. There's a few things I love about the scene. One, when she says... I don't take guys, I'm a lesbian. There was a split second. I was having flashbacks to how I felt during the Miami episode. Mm. And then, sure enough, she's just messing with him. And of course she'd like to go out with him. And you're not a troll, for Christ's sake. Get some confidence. And then he pays off the earlier stand-up bit by letting himself have that victory fist pump. That was great. I loved this episode. I cannot wait to see what part two is. Rating, no surprise. 10 out of 10. It was great. What are you girls talking about? Cyber sex. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. 